Now that we have successfully compiled and deployed our smart contract, let's create a smart contract instance in order to interact with the functions. We have already declared web3 and also copied the smart contract ABI and address. We will use it to get the contract instance. Just use web3.eth.contract and pass ABI and contract address as argument in this. And that's it. Now the contract instance is created and stored in my contract variable. We will console this and check what we are actually getting in this contract instance. Make sure our node server is running and now in the browser, refresh the page and open the console. There you can see the metamask is connected and the address is also fetched successfully. Web3 is loaded and below that there is our contract instance. If we expand this, you can see that we have batch requests, events, methods, etc. are available to get. We will mainly use methods to interact with the smart contract functions. Let's expand the methods and there you can see we have deposit, withdraw, get balance and some other functions which we have declared in our smart contract. Now let's build the front-end interface for our dApp. We will use the bootstrap framework to build the complete responsive html page. Let's set up bootstrap in our index.html file. You can follow bootstrap documentation in order to install it in your project. We are using plain vanilla javascript so we just need to copy and paste some scripts in our index.html file. Once you have completed adding bootstrap files in html, you can add font or some library. It's a library to add fonts in our application and also sweet alert library to show alert messages to the end user. And after initiating all this, we will add HTML elements here. To add navbar, you can copy the navbar element from bootstrap documentation and paste it and customize it. Let's add a span element in the navbar and assign this ID. This pan will be hidden as we are using dnone class for it. After this, let's add a login button. So whenever user will click on this button, the metamask wallet connection will pop up. And after successfully login, we can show the user's connected account address to the span that is declared above and hide this button after that. Let's also assign one ID to this button. After building navbar, let's build a card component where we will have two input fields and a button for deposit and withdraw functions respectively. And lastly one get balance button to query the current balance in the user's account. Now let's create one h3 tag stating the name of our dApp. And then one horizontal line and then one div element to handle deposit functionality. Here let's add one label input with deposit eth id and the deposit button with deposit button id. Similarly for withdraw input, add withdraw id and for withdraw button, withdraw button id. And lastly one div to contain the balance query functionality. And here also one button to query the balance with id get balance. And then one paragraph to show the user balance that will be fetched from the contract. Now back in app.js, Let's store all these elements with document.getElementById into their respective variables. This will make easy for us to build these elements for further part of building dApp. Now in the next tutorial, we will add appropriate javascript and smart contract functions to these elements.